So this is Tammy. Welcome back to my channel. I don't usually do this kind of video, but um, I do them once in a while. This is a video. Uh, I purchased a D-stash from Suzanne Nako, who is Crafty Sue 519 here on YouTube. It is all Christmas papers. And I was, I did not have a lot of Christmas stuff. And the she showed the pads in her video and they were very pretty. So I, she had three or four different um, boxes and I just purchased one of them because it, something in it spoke to me and I think I think it was the one I'll show you at the end. So let me show you what I got in here. The first one is this Echo Park Dots and Stripes and it is green, red, tan, and black. I'm not going to open it. You can see what they all are. So I thought this was fun. Um, polka dots are always fun and easy to work with. There's two different colors of red and if I if I if I put Stampin' Up! colors on this, I would say Garden Green or Old Olive. Garden Green, though. Mossy Meadow, Real Red, Cherry Cobbler, uh, either Crumb Cake or Soft Suede, and then Black. And it's just fun. Dots and Stripes are so much fun to work with. So that was the first one. If I can put some more without causing an avalanche. This clean spot you see right here is the only clean spot in my room. And it won't stay that way as soon as I'm done with the video because i got to get working on my embellishment uh, stuff for me. This is a pad. Let me adjust this a little bit. I think you can see it better. Um, this is a pad. And this is, I think all of these pads, yeah, these pads are all, all the Michaels Hot Buy pads. So you can see this one is black and gold, and it is really, really pretty. Let's see if I can do a flip. I'm not very good at this flipping thing, but um, black and white and gold. Uh, words that say, or pages that say stuff. This would be for an advent calendar. That's fun. This is beautiful. I don't know if you can, yeah, you can see the shine on that. Isn't that pretty? Black and white stripes. I love stripes and plaids and snowflakes. This would be a good frame for a scrapbook page. Six by six cut aparts. More snowflakes, little trees. This is, um, the gold spots are shiny. I don't know how my light is right here. It's not the light in our house is not the best, and it's foggy outside today, so I don't have any sun coming in. Another, well, you could use this to make a big box. This would be pretty on the front of a box. And then tag cut aparts. Those are fun. Very fun. I bet some of this might end up in my December embellishment book page. We'll see. So that is one of them. Sorry, I'm trying to find some place to set it or it's not going to fall. This is another one. This is the traditional red and green Christmas, and it's a lot of fun, too. It's called Say Freeze and then bon Bonjour Hiver. I don't, I don't know. But. So this is this one. Those are fun. And this has glitter, glitter paper in it. Another advent calendar page. Holly. Fun plaid. Borders. I like borders. Those are fun. Poinsettias. Little frames. Smaller cut aparts. This, oh, this would be really pretty for a scrapbook layout. <clears throat> I need time to get back to scrapbooking. This one also. I love this snow globe with the snowman in it. So that's just a really, really fun pad. And then is this one. I like pink. You all know I'm a purple person, but I like pink. This one's called Sugar Blush. And this is pink and gold. And it's got some, oops, sorry. Stop. It's got some really fun pages in it. This is like pine trees, but it's all pink. This is fur, fake fur. Christmas ornaments, isn't that fun? 
pink fur, pinkish big fur. This is like a mermaid print, but it's all pink, and it is pink and gold. It was really pretty. Very pretty pink poinsettias. Pink ornaments. I have a sister who loves pink. Ooh, pink Santas. That's cute. I'm going to have to figure out something to make for her for Christmas that uses this because she really likes, she likes pink as much as I like purple. And there's some really pretty papers in this pad. So that one's Sugar Blush. Um, so those, the four that I showed you are all really pretty. And I can use them all. But the one that really sold me on it was this. Check this out. This is called Northern Lights. And it has all of my favorite colors in it in a pastelish version. I love jewel tones. Um, these are muted down. They're not exactly in the, the hue of a jewel tone. But purple and blue, I think, go really pretty together. And especially if you add in some teal and a little few other little colors. So this one, of all the ones in the box, this was the one that made me want this particular box. This is, uh, it's not, I don't know if it's silver. It almost looks a little champagne-y, but it's got blue trees. And because my light is funky right here, I can't really tell. I like this. All the color in there. Isn't that pretty? And then this. These haven't been opened, so it's hard to get to it all, but the borders are fun. I said that on the last one. Polar bears. Stars that have all of the colors in them. Can you see all those colors? These are so pretty. Good background paper. Cut apart. Snowflakes. Oh, this one's pretty. Should I want to open this farther? Sorry, I should have done that sooner. Isn't that a beautiful page? I love how it goes from purple to blue to a teal to green back to purple. That's pretty too. Snowflakes, beautiful trees snowflakes I love marble prints and this is really pretty there was a pretty one back farther too uh, these are silver snowflakes on a purple background polar bears that are kind of shaped like Christmas trees that's funny these are very cute oh and I just realized some of these are the back of the polar bear so there's his back, there's his front, and then he's waving at us. Very cute. I like the, the ombre effect across that page. This is beautiful. This is marble, but it's purple. So pretty. I could sit and look at that all day. It's kind of, kind of looks like the, the print on it has depth to it. So the longer I look at it, the more, the deeper I go into it. It's just really pretty. And you probably can't see that on the camera, and I'll stop being silly, but that's fun. This is really pretty. And then that's beautiful. It says Merry Christmas. So that was it for the D stash I purchased from Miss Suzanne. Thank you, Suzanne. It's kind of funny because I'm getting older, which means my memory isn't working the way I want it to. And I emailed with her and purchased it. And then the next day she says, okay, I put your package in the mail. And I'm thinking, what package? And then I remembered as soon as I thought that I remembered. And then I got a tracking number the next day. And I could tell that it was from Suzanne. And I'm like, what is Suzanne sending me? And it, it just went on until I got the package. So that's kind of scary. It's kind of funny, but it's kind of scary. So... Yeah, I just had a birthday. I'm getting older, and I don't like the things that are happening to my mind as I get older. But we all go through it, so that's life. There could be a lot worse things happening that are not. I better be careful what I say. So thank you for watching. Um, I don't think I have anything else to share. Oh, I'll share this. So, 
I like to watch refunction crafts because she does some really fun things. So this is how far I've gotten. I'm going to make some of these tins that she, uh, I watched a video recently and this stuff will be covered up. I'm really messy with glue. Um, I watched a video recently that she covered one of these. She starts with a napkin. She does, she decoupages the napkin on there and then starts adding other stuff. And at the end, she puts on that triple thick and diamond dust, and they just turn out beautiful. And there is a uh, giveaway challenge that I'm entering that I'm going to use this for. And then I got these cute little tiny tins. Got these on Amazon. I got them in black and in silver. And I thought it'd be fun to decorate one of those, too. I think, is it, I don't know if it's her or another channel that I watched that, um, they talked about keeping your little tiny craft things in here and putting feet on it. And then when you go somewhere where you're crafting, you have that sitting there open and it's on little feet. So I thought that was cute, a cute idea. I'm not sure what I'm going to put on top of here, but I thought it was fun. Uh, the rhinestones, mine are not perfect, but I'm going to hide that when I decorate the top. The rhinestones came from Amazon. These are four millimeter. Uh, the video that I watched where she made the box and I should link that box below um, she used six millimeter and I'm not sure why I got four instead of six that's a good question when I went to buy them this is what I ended up with I might go buy some um, six millimeter although it seems like they'd be too big but I watched her do the video and uh, this was a bit of a challenge I used e6000 glue and these are stuck on here they're not coming off but the way they work, you want to lay them, you're putting this, their side on the box so that you're seeing them from the top. And they don't want to do that. That's why there's glue all over the top because I was fighting with it. And I'm sure I'll get better with time. They really, they kept wanting to twist and be on their back against the box instead of on their side. So this is cut because I'm doing one, I'm making another one. Figured I'd get that because E6000 has to dry overnight, so get get it on the other one too, and then I can work on decorating them. That's one of the projects I'm working on this weekend. I'm working on my embellishment uh, page for the fifth month for May this weekend. That will post on Sunday, and I'm working on projects for my friend Debbie's uh, stamping retreat, online retreat, and. I'm working on a surprise project for somebody that you won't see from me, but you might see it from her when she receives it. I think that's it. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.